Welcome to Marketing Mondays. It is December 12th, 2022. We have four club growth chairs here tonight. I would love to introduce you to our first club growth chair is Zinnia Ship. Zinnia, welcome. Have a few minutes to introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. I am a member of the club growth director team. I work closely with Elizabeth to identify areas in our district that are lacking clubs. And that's basically what I'm doing as the club new source research chair. Excellent. Thank you so much for your service, Z. Our second club growth chair is Pamela McCown. Pamela, welcome. Hello, everyone. And once we identify where we need clubs and we get club leads from people in the district, from TI, Toastmasters International, they send us leads. Then we start to work on contacting those people at those companies or groups to form the club. Once we decide that there is a club that's going to be formed, we need club sponsors to help them fill out the paperwork and get everything into Toastmasters to fully charter that club. Once we do that, then the club starts to meet as a regular club and we pass the baton to Troy Rocket to find mentors. So that's what I'm doing is working club leads and getting club sponsors and then passing the ball over to Troy. Excellent, thank you, Pam. And Troy Rocket is here. Troy, welcome. Hi, Elizabeth and fellow Toastmasters. I am Troy Rocket, your District 56 Club Quality Chair for Club Mentors. As everyone knows, our district mission is to build new clubs and support all clubs in achieving excellence. And of course, excellence is one of the core values of Toastmasters along with service, integrity, and respect. However, a new Toastmasters club is analogous to a new garden. If we don't nurture the soil and build the foundation, the garden will not grow. And that is the primary role of the club quality chair to support and acknowledge the hard work of our club mentor training team that advises our club mentors how best to encourage new clubs and plant the seeds of excellence at every meeting to build that foundation for future growth. I encourage each of you or your fellow officers to invest in the future of District 56 by volunteering to be a new club mentor. Back to you, Elizabeth. You're muted. Thank you, Z. Our fourth and final club growth chair is David Bell. Welcome, David. Well, thank you very much. If you don't tend those weeds in your garden, you know what happens? They grow if you lose members or if you don't get those educational achievements. It's hard for the garden to flourish. So we work with the club coaches. So your garden will flourish forever. We water it. We give it a little fertilizer. We give it a little tender, loving care. And I want to give a special shout out tonight. We have several of our club coaches here. Keith is here. I saw Ruth was here. I saw also Jennifer is here. She's a soon to be club coach, hopefully. And then I also saw Brent was here. He's helping us. And last but not least, my right arm, Caroline, Caroline Jeter. Thank you so much for all the work that you've helped me with this year, Caroline. All right. That is our club growth team. Now, I would like to say welcome to all of our guests, some we have never seen before. Raise your hand if this is your first Marketing Monday. Oh, no one knew? Okay, welcome back everyone. I have a question for you. And I know we will all be so honest about this answer. And I will give you a few seconds to answer it. <laughs> and I'm so curious and no Googling Z. <laughs> Z Googled Picha Kucha, so no Googling. Okay, deal, deal. 
Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And this is this is research backed. Now, this is from the National Academy of Sciences. This activity that they researched, it activates areas in the brain that bring or that is linked to value and motivation. Now, what does this have anything to do with Marketing Mondays? In our clubs, we all have specific reasons why members should join our club. We need to share what our value is for prospective members, and we need to motivate our current members. Now, how can we do both in the same exercise? Does anyone have any idea what this activity could be? Something that would that's linked to value and motivation in the brain to create value for prospective members and motivation for current members, meaning motivating your members to show up to every club, motivate them to sign up for roles, meaning have that prospective member, that guest want to sign up. What one, oh, I see a hand raised. Who is it? Kiana, what is it? So let me make sure I understand the question before answering. So we have current members, we have new members that we need to bring in and we need to keep uh, one group motivated and the other group, uh, the, the current group motivated to stay and keep making progress and the new group motivated to um, stay to develop themselves. So I'm thinking um, the one strategy is to link the current members with their experience and their leadership to the new members and develop a thought partnership or relationship between the two. So there's some coaching and mentoring. So we have to get the current members involved um, with from a value perspective and pulling out because each individual has their own uh, value add that they add to the club and figure out how to tap into that to build and bridge uh, the gap with the new members. So I don't know how to, you probably have this one fancy word for all that. But <laughs> it's three words, but you're, it's close. That's, that's, you're warm, you're warm. Anyone else want to guess what it is? Okay, Cynthia. You're on mute, Cynthia. The key is what's in it for me, for the new member. So what are the benefits they can get or what you call the value they can get from joining the club? The number one consideration should be first, you got to know the personality of the person. So you put together people of the same personalities and said, oh, that's the type of thing I want to do in the club. Or that's, the, uh, that's what I can learn uh, from the club. So Believe me or not, personalities play a major role in getting someone motivated because that's when you would instill in their minds the value of what they're in for. And not only, so that's when you build knowledge about some more about uh, what the benefits of the club can be for that new member. So the, new, the current members, um, not only personalities, but it's like, is there a click? You know, the click is always what you would look for in a club to be able to fit in. So that's the way to motivate them. Get them in using that approach. You're warm, Cynthia. You're very warm. Anyone else? One more guess? I saw Pam type something, create FOMO with meeting programming and promotions, anyone else? What is the question again? <laughs> what one item, 
what one thing that's so easy to do that would create value for prospective members, guests, and motivation to your current members, meaning it would motivate them to show up and fill roles and be more present in club meetings. And it's already 8.10 and I gave myself a deadline of 8.10. Think about that. We're now going to let that marinate, let that question marinate, but I would like to share with you a few creative marketing ideas for our clubs. And when I hit on it, I will do a deep dive into it. Here we go. First of all, we are a nonprofit and nonprofit marketing is more difficult than a for-profit cause. Now, why is that? Because some clubs don't charge extra fees and they don't have the money. We do have some amazing training and resources, but nonprofit marketing can become astronomical to us. It can become overwhelming. There is a silver lining and I will tell you what it is. If you think you know what the silver lining is, type it in chat. And we're going to start going down that road of that answer that I asked to the question, the first question. This is the silver lining. Most of our clubs, if not all, we have a compelling story to tell. Uh, it's a story that's within all of us that we can put real purpose and drive behind something that would be a marketing campaign that you can do traditional meaning print or digital meaning video. And what we can do with our compelling story is it's real, it's shareable. Even though we might have a limited membership or even if you have a large membership, we can count on each other to be passionate about why we joined our club. We can all go a long way when you pair passion with a powerful story. Now, how do we do this? To get started, we focus on our relationships and real conversations to grow our clubs. We meet with our clubs. We talk about it. It's very important to talk. Then we piggyback on our stories. You hear one story and then you start telling your own story and you start creating the story of why to join your club. And I will share specific nonprofit organizations that did this in our shared Google Drive. All of our members and our clubs, we all have different talents. Some of us have more time than others. Utilize that, find out who has more time, who has the talent that's needed to create what I'm about to share with you. We need to find three things in our members, the time, and I call it treasure, and that's those who are willing to share their compelling story, and then talents, those who know how to videotape and record and turn into a YouTube video, something like that. Now, once we create this project, we need to share it across social media to use us as influencers. So the members in your club are influencers for your own cause, your club. And I will share many, many links of how this all worked across other nonprofits. Something that we need to do is communicate with our clubs or our club members and discuss what I'm about to share with you and really get their input and work together as a team within your club. Get to know, get involved more with your club members and ask them. I have a, an infographic of uh, five tips on planning 
local community outreach programs that I will share with you at the end of this in our shared Google Drive. I'll also share how you can tell your story uh, with educational video content. That means not only a story that's compelling, but something that can educate your members as well as prospects. Something else that we will share is how you can reach more of your audience. How is that? It's not just emails because emails, it's about 50% being opened, but most people open text messages and text messaging is very powerful, whether it's a text or WhatsApp or any other type of texting or messaging something to pull your club together and create maybe a WhatsApp group, something like that. That will be also in the handouts that I'll upload in the shared Google Drive. I'll also share how to personalize your own club message and then how to really optimize it for the mobile unit, meaning the text messages. Now, here's the answer. It's 8.15 and I am right on time. And if you felt like I went too fast, all of this is in a document that will be uploaded to our shared Google Drive. Okay, the answer to the first question I asked, and this comes from research from the National Academy of Sciences. They studied subjects and they wanted to know how to activate the areas of the brain that light up and that are linked to value and motivation. And what I'm about to share with you, it is the same area of the brain that lights up when you eat your favorite foods, when you do something that you enjoy. Simply put, it's gratifying. Anything that's gratifying, we call it neurological buzz. And neurological buzz means you're activating parts, the good parts in your brain that's giving you value and motivation. Does anyone want to have a final guess what it is? Shout it out. Anyone? <laughs> yes, David, you're right. It's dopamine. Okay, so this is it. You're ready? <laughs> it's so fun. People love talking about themselves. That's it. People love talking about themselves. When you talk about yourself and you self-disclose things about yourself, it gives you a neurological buzz. When we are on a neurological buzz, we light up, we feel valued and motivated, and you can see it in people's faces and actions and their body movements. Now, how can we use talking about ourselves to motivate our members and to create value for guests? There is something that is going around the world right now. And it's, it's called get to know me tag. Has anyone ever done a get to know me tag? Raise your hand. <laughs> it is so much fun. And this is what we're going to do. First of all, everyone's favorite topic in this get to know me tag is all the same. Everyone's favorite topic is the same. We all love talking about ourselves. Now, the test that was conducted, it found so much neurological buzz that it caused the listeners to listen and then they wanted to share more about themselves. And what happened was this dialogue of neurological buzz going and they just started talking and sharing and really creating value and motivation 
not only within themselves and their brain, but within the conversation. So now it's challenge time. It's called Get to Know Me Tag, My Toastmasters Journey. It's now time for our members and our prospective members to learn all about you and your Toastmasters journey. Pick up your phone or record on a Zoom session of yourself answering a set of questions that you and your club choose to help members and prospects get to know you better. And this is how it works. The club, your club will meet and you'll pick a set of questions. You'll agree on a set of questions to ask each member. No more than 10 questions. One to 10 questions. Maximum video length per member is three minutes. Combine all the videos into one video or you can upload each of the members video to your club website, your club social media pages. It's your choice. The deadline is February 1st. To be able to be in this challenge in District 56, you will need to have all the videos into one video and then send it to CGD at TMD 56. And it will be the same gift certificate, $100 for the club that wins the most votes, $50 gift certificate for the club with the second and a $25 gift, gift certificate for the club with the third most votes. If you would like to see something called a get to know me tag, if you show it, if you go into YouTube, there's thousands and thousands of get to know me tags. Some of them are one minute long and some of them are as long as 30 minutes. Some have five questions, some have 25 questions. There's even some with 50 questions. But for this challenge, do no more than 10 questions. And once you see how it works, once you agree on the questions and your members are talking about themselves, you'll start seeing them light up and really get into their story. We all love talking about ourselves and it's going to create a neurological buzz for all of your members. And you may learn something that you don't know about a member in your club. How cool is that? it will get to know, they will get to know you, you will get to know them. And then the prospective guests, prospective members, the guests will get to know all of you in your club. Now, earlier in the question that I asked, I did hear Cynthia say something about like getting to know the personalities and the culture. You were so close, Cynthia. And this is a great way for our guests and our members to learn more about us and our Toastmaster journey. This is an amazing marketing tool. It will create neurological buzz. It will wide up the value and motivation part in your brain, just like when you're eating your favorite food or doing something gratifying, something that gives you pleasure. It lights up that same part of your brain when you talk about yourself for three minutes, that's all it takes and videotape it and you'll see everyone light up. Do I have any questions or does anyone here? Oh, Robert, of, yes. Um, can you show me how to put 10 questions into one on a phone? Absolutely. What you'll do is you'll meet with your club. You'll create 10 questions. They all, all your members are asked the same question. You'll create 10 questions maximum. You can have one question to 10 questions and each person will videotape themselves answering those questions. I will have links to many different tag me videos where you can see how it's done. Some videos there's someone videotaping them and they're asking the question, but that really does start adding more time to it. So the best way to do it is to say question number one and then say the question, or you can just say answer number one. My name is Robert Kishnick. Question number, answer number two. I joined Toastmasters two years ago to improve my speaking and continue answering the questions that way. It really is up to you and your club. 
There's so many YouTube videos called get to know me tag. And it's so much fun, but to save time, we need to keep it to three minutes per person. Okay. So I can talk with Boeing Toastmasters Friday about it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Even if one person, even if only you want to participate in the challenge and the get to know me tag challenge about my Toastmaster journey, then do it. Uh, maybe one or 10 members or all your club members might, might want to do it. I, I see a question, Kiana. Elizabeth, this is not a question, it's a comment. Okay. That you always come up with the most fun challenges. <laughs> and so thank you for that. I saw lots of smiles on the platform. It uh, looks like people want to get started with that. And I just want to put a bug out in your ear. I feel like this would be a great breakout room for the spring contest. Um, so I'll just leave it like there. <laughs> Yes, Keith. Thank you, Kiana. You're great. Thank you so much. Keith? Uh, yes. Uh, so my question is, all right, I, I understand applying this to current members. Uh, what about guests or prospective members? I mean, we have visitors come to our club. The first thing they tell us is, the reason I'm here is because I'm reluctant to speak in front of a group. So how does this work with uh, someone who's visiting the club? How, how, how would you apply something like this? That's a great question. We also do it in a lot of the clubs that I'm in. We always ask at the end of each meeting, what, what did you think about the club? Why, what made you join or show up to this club? What, how did you find us? That's a great way. You can also create a couple of questions to ask all of your guests. Now, the guests may be more hesitant to be videotaped and be included in your challenge. And if they want to, why not? Most likely, if they do participate, they will probably join because it's going to activate that part of the brain that gives them value and motivation. It's a scientific research, fact-based, exercise and it will work most likely. But yes, go ahead and, and include the guests if that's something that you would like to do, Keith. Um, did I answer your question? Uh, for the most part, I do have one more uh, sort of a caveat question of that though. We still need to get permission from each individual with regards to posting anything on your internet, don't we? I remember at one time seeing a form or something of that nature. Yes, on toastmasters.org, there is a video form, and I will include that in our shared Google Drive as well. That's a great question. Anyone else? Who here is going to do it? I already see a lot of people in chat. Cynthia, Brent, Robert, Harold, Kiana, Keith. Oh boy, we're going to have some fun and get to know so many more people about their themselves and their Toastmasters journey. How much fun will this be? It, we're going to learn a lot. I have a question, Elizabeth. Yes. You said three minutes per member. Mm -hmm. So is there a length for the entire get to know me tag? No, there is not. As long as it's three minutes maximum per member, okay. one to 10 questions. Okay, got you. And Thank all you. of this will be in our shared Google Drive. Um, does everyone have the shared Google Drive? I'm going to put this in chat right now for our Marketing Mondays. If you missed any of the prior Marketing Mondays, this here will bring you right to it. And you can watch all the Marketing Mondays with all the handouts, templates, and PowerPoints. And they're organized by date of the Marketing Mondays. We have 37 of them, and we have various people teaching a marketing tip. We have our club growth team, as well as past district directors and others. 
Any other questions? Was everyone able to open up the shared Google Drive? Oh, Brent, you're going to run it by the seven clubs you're in. Okay, we already, we're going to learn a lot. <laughs> That's great. Any, mm -hmm. anyone else would like to share anything? Questions? Carol, are you going to do this in your club? I'm going to go with Javier and see what we can work out. He's our technology whiz. So, Javier, are you in? Sure. But we're <laughs> going to do it in Spanish, though. <laughs> I, I know Javier is going to do it. Yeah. Hi, Akin. We have a lot of our division directors here. I see Dara, Dara, and Akin, Kiana, Brent. Cynthia is our area director. We have division directors. Did I miss anyone? Janetta. We have a past district governor here, Martha. Hi, Martha. How are you? Thank you for being here. Pam's also a past district director and a past international board member. <laughs> okay. Anything else? It's we're one minute past our time. Any other questions? Great questions, everyone. Thank you for participating in chat and answering questions, Cynthia, Robert, and Kiana, and those questions, Z. And who else? Keith, great questions. We'll see you next Monday. Can't wait to see all your tag videos. Get to know me tag, my Toastmasters journey. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're welcome. Thank you for bye being bye. here.